Today we're taking a trip to Cuba with Lechon Asado. Hey everybody, welcome back to another week of The Fogo Life. I'm your host, Captain Ron. Today we're doing something special. We live right near Miami, so we have a lot of places that serve Cuban roast pork, lechon asado. So we're gonna take this pork shoulder and we're gonna make some incredible pulled pork out of it. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start our prep on this beautiful pork shoulder, and we're gonna talk about what we're gonna do to it. The first thing we have to do is we have to marinate it overnight in something called a mojo. So mojo is made up of sour orange juice, all kinds of herbs, lots of garlic, garlic, and more garlic. You know I love that. So our first step is gonna be to prepare this mojo and get this thing sitting in its own juices. Now what a mojo is, is actually just a citrus-based marinade that's really popularized in Cuba. They make it, we live right here close to Miami and they make tons of Cuban food with it and it's used in all kinds of different ways. You can buy a pre-made mojo as well, but I like to make our own. It's so simple and it's so much fresher and to me, it just delivers a much, mucho better flavor. Instead of whole garlic, we're gonna put that in by itself then we're going to chop that up first. So put it in and pile it up and blend away. And now that we've got our garlic, our next step is our kosher salt. You wanna use a coarse salt for this, regular table salt is not gonna work for that. The other thing too, all of our dried herbs and spices, pepper, cumin, oregano, and Tina Cannon's rub. So put all that in there, and then four cups of our sour orange juice. Y es todo de nuestro ingredientes. That's all of our ingredients. So what we're gonna do is blend it all together now and make one big giant sauce. Okay, now we are all done with that part of it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna stick this over here. Okay, get rid of this. And now let's prepare our pork. And here it is. Now we're not gonna have to do a whole lot to this. We're just gonna do some minor prep work. We're gonna score the fat cap and just get it ready. See how we slice and it goes into where the meat is so that the marinade is gonna be able to get into the meat. And you can see we cut our diamond pattern here, all right? And you can see that we went through all the way through the meat so that you can see it's gonna get all the way down in there. The marinade is gonna hit the meat and give it some flavor. Oh, the other part too I wanna to talk about is I use the bone in pork roast for this. So you don't have to, but I like to use the bone in. I find it gives more flavor, helps cook it a little more evenly. So bone in for me. And next part is to start the marinating process, okay? So I got a little container here. I'm gonna put our entire pork roast right down in there. And we're gonna pour our marinade right over the top. Now a lot of your seasonings could stick inside here, so make sure you get them all out, get them all in that marinade. We don't wanna lose any of that beautiful mojo flavor. This container is a little bit small, so I wanna move it around a little bit, make sure that we get the marinade all around it, underneath the meat, on the side of the meat, everywhere all over this entire roast. There we go, and we are almost there. Last step, we gotta add some onion, yeah! Now we're gonna chop up one medium-sized yellow onion. I like to use yellow onion. It's the workhorse of the kitchen in the, in, the, in the onion world. So it's a very versatile onion. So what this is gonna do is we're gonna slice it about a quarter inch thick into slices and put it into our marinade. What it's gonna do is it's gonna eliminate. So there's a lot of acid in this marinade already. It's gonna kind of offset a lot of that acid in the marinade and give it a whole beautiful sweeter flavor. And now for my favorite part, to the refrigerator! Oh, hey, did you guys stay here overnight or did you come back? <laughs> 24 hours in the marinade. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna let this come to a little, little bit closer to room temperature while we light up our grill. And for this to cook today, what we're gonna do is we're gonna cook this indirect. So we're kinda, what we're doing is we're taking a traditional lechon asado and we're adding our own little twist on it. We're cooking it on the smoker, we're gonna cook it first over in a Dutch oven, uncovered, so that the smoke can get to it and everything like that. And that's gonna add a whole nother level of flavor to a normal Cuban roast pork. Then, once it hits about 165, instead of wrapping it like we would normally do for a pulled pork, we're gonna put our lid on our Dutch oven, gonna cover it up and finish it up in there. We're gonna go to our same temperature of about 200 degrees, and we're gonna pull it, and it's gonna be delicioso. Let's talk about something that I get a lot of questions about, the blaze ball what is it? So it's a little cage that holds our starters and you can put it under the charcoal, put it over it. But the one thing I get is how many uses does it get? I've been using this blazer ball for over a year. Does it look like it did when it was brand new? No, it's not shiny anymore. It's not pretty, but you know what? It still works just the same. It holds the starters just the same and it drops in the egg just the same. Now, let's talk about charcoal. So I know I always tell you this is our, this is our grilling charcoal. It's got a small chunk. Let me tell you, you can also smoke with this, and I'm gonna prove it to you. I'm gonna use the rest of this bag of black charcoal in here, and we're gonna smoke this pork butt right on this black bag charcoal. 
Now I know a lot of you seasoned professionals already know what this is, but we've got a lot of new egg users on the channel too. So I'm gonna take a minute to describe what this is. We're gonna cook indirect. This is called your convector. It's a heat deflector. We use it to cook indirect, meaning no flames directly underneath the meats. So we set that in there with the legs up, okay? We take our cooking grate, put that right on top of it, like that. We can put our meats on here. We're gonna put a Dutch oven on here. This is called indirect cooking. What it does is it forces it to actually almost act like a convection barbecue oven. So pretty cool, right? So that is indirect cooking for you new guys. On to our next step. We're going to put our pork into our Dutch oven. What we're gonna cook it in. There's a lot of different brands of Dutch ovens out there. We happen to sell this one. It's made by Romertoff. It's actually made for the grill. It cleans up super easily and the outside cleans up super easily. I used to use my Le Creuset on here, which worked great, but man, were they a pain to clean up. These things have nice, easy cleanup. So I'm gonna keep using this one. Now for the exciting part, we're gonna take this out of here. Okay. Voila. What we do from here is we take this and dump out half our marinade right over the top of the pork. Now our egg's rolling along at 275 degrees. Notice I did not put any smoking wood in here. I don't want to add a lot of smoke. I just want to give it that little kiss. So we're going to put this right in the center of our grate. Okay. We're going to take our meter thermometer because we're going to control our temperatures. We're going to cook it just like we would a regular pork butt. Stick it right in the middle there. We're going to cook that to 165 or until we have nice brown color. Now that I get a chance to rest while this thing is cooking, because it's going to go for about three or four hours, let's kind of recap what we did. Lechon asado, Cuban roast pork. Oh, it'll fill your belly so beautiful you can't wait. It's what they make good Cuban sandwiches out of. Ooh. Hey, so what we did is we took our pork butt, we marinated in mojo. That's right, mojo. You know how to pronounce it? Now do you know how to spell it? Oh, M-O-J-O, -O, mojo. So you can buy your own or you can make your own like we did. Real easy, real simple process. The onions are gonna be great. So the only reason I did, I poured half the marinade over it because we're gonna save half of it. We're gonna cook it down, we're gonna soften up those onions, and we're gonna, um, we're gonna heat it up on an element, and then we're gonna top it off after it's done. After it's pulled, we're gonna add that on there for just a little bit of extra flavor. So it's gonna be que delicioso, lechon asado, the Cuban roast pork. We are at four hours in right now, and it has hit 173 degrees internal temperature. So, it's got nice color. So you do want, you want to go by temperature, but you also want to go by color. You want to make sure you have decent coloring on your meat. Now, you want to see what it looks like? It's beautiful. Check this out. Look at that gorgeous color. Did I tell you or what? The only thing we're going to do now, we're going to take the lid, put it right on top. It's kind of the same as really, really the same as wrapping it in foil as you would do making a regular pulled pork, except we're using a Dutch oven, a lot easier, a lot cleaner, and boy, does it cook even. Ladies and gentlemen, chicos y chicas, muchachas y muchachos, the meter says that we're done, 203 degrees. So let's just double check it. We're gonna probe it, make sure it is super, super tender. Ooh, look at that. Whoa, it smells good in that color. So we have reached the magic time where we're gonna do the same thing we would do with any normal pulled pork. We're gonna take it off. But we're gonna let this rest for at least an hour, at least one hour. So I'm just gonna set it on, side, on the inside and we'll be back in an hour. And while our pork is resting, remember the rest of that marinade that we had there? Yeah, well, it's not gonna go to waste. We're gonna use this too. Okay, so we're gonna take this, got my little fry pan out here, gonna pour all of this, including the onions, right into this frying pan. Now, our big idea here, what we're gonna do with this marinade is we're gonna cook this down. Now, remember, this had raw meat in it, so we have to cook it down. We gotta bring it to a boil, let it cook for about five or 10 minutes. Plus, we want it to thicken up a little bit. It's gonna soften up these onions. It's all gonna do wonders, and bring it all together for a beautiful topping for our lechon, Asado. And our sauce and onions is done, so I'm just gonna move this and set it on the side. As such, shut this baby down, and let's go get the pork now. It's go time, baby. It's time for some shredding. So, this should work just like regular pulled pork. So, let me dive right in here and shred it apart. Oh, it's when you got a clean bone pull like that, you know it's cooked correctly. It means it's cooked all the way through. All right, beautiful shredded pork. Oh my goodness. Now, last step, we're gonna take our pan of all our onions and the rest of the juices, pour it right over. Oh yeah. Now you can wait to do this when you're serving it. Put some on a plate, put a little bit of juice, a little bit of onion on each one. Oh, that onion along with the pork, it just can't be beat. So, let's go ahead and give it a whirl. I always take too big of a bite. They always yell at me. I don't wanna get yelled at. Ay caramba, that's delicious. I mean, that's like really good. I know maybe that not, might not be Cuban, whatever, but 
I'm gonna get yelled at again, so I'm used to it. But this, I gotta tell you, the citrusy acid and the citrusy flavor shines right through those onions. The onions, they really soak in that flavor as well. They are outstanding. This meal would not be the same without the onions. Don't omit them. Even if you don't like onions, don't omit them. They're gonna flavor up the sauce. They're gonna flavor up the meat. It is absolutely delicious. You wanna make Cuban sandwiches with this. Serve it as, as um, roast pork. You know what I like to do? I like to get the frying pan nice and hot or my griddle and throw some of this on the griddle and get a little crispy edges on the corners of it. Oh, it only intensifies the flavor even more. You could do it on here, on the cast iron pan, anything you want. This is just absolutely fantastic. I had to take another bite. Oh God, it's good. This is lechon asado, Cuban roast pork, and it is outstanding. If you've never had it, you know you don't know what you're missing. I'm telling you. And you've obviously never been to Miami because that's all they serve down there. So I like to order this when I go out. Now I don't have to. I can eat it right at home here. We actually make this quite a bit at home, so I was quite confident making this one for you. But hey, listen, don't forget, subscribe, like, give us a thumbs up. Have you ever made this? Have you ever even had lechon asado? Big question for you. Are you going to make it? I want to see you make it. I challenge you to make it. So go ahead and do it. I want to see it. Tag me, tag Fogo, tag everybody. We want to see it. We might even put it on our stories. Folks, that's all I've got for you for today. This Cuban pork is absolutely delicioso. It's, it's, I mean, I can't say it enough. So I want you to go ahead and make it. You'll have a good time making it. Your family will enjoy it. Your friends will enjoy it. Your neighbors will enjoy it because it makes enough to uh, feed, feed an army. That's for sure. So anyway, remember to subscribe. Like I said, do all that good stuff. And if you saw any products that we used in here, anything that you saw that we liked, that you liked, it's down below in the link, in the description. Hit it up, check it out, see for yourself, find out if it's something that you might like. Anyway, that's all I've got. Remember to get out and grill, and I'll see you the next time.